Hi everyone, thanks for coming through to this video today. Today we are going to record a tutorial using watercolours and we're going for a Christmas theme. These can be used for watercolour cards. I'm hoping to do about five today for you guys. So grab your watercolours and grab your watercolour brushes. You only really need some rounds today. There they are. Um, make sure you've got your water, don't forget that. Make sure you've got a rag handy so you can wipe your brush dry let's get started so the first thing you need to do is just get something round and draw three circles on your sheet like I have then you're just coming across the top and drawing a rectangle for the top part and then just little bumps underneath a little bump over the top and then the string coming round and then try and just do some rough kind of holly shapes so um, you can basically have the baubles any colour you want so you don't have to follow what I'm doing oh Nearly dropped my brush. Um, I think I'm going to go for a nice purple one to start with. Those who follow me and watch me lots will know I'm always going for purple first. So Now remember the amount of water you have on your brush will affect um, how dark the colour is. So I put quite a bit of um, paint on rather than water and now I'm just going for pushing that around so that one part of the bauble is much darker than the other because then we're creating that feeling of light coming from that side and it's giving us a more 3d feel of the bauble there one done already okay just gonna push that around a bit more so that we don't have too many straight lines but remember watercolor is very loose so you will find um, it's not going to be these won't be detailed they're going to be very roughly done okay then what other shall i do let's have a look we'll go for a blue one why not so to start with you can have quite a bit of pigment on your brush come around to get a nice deep colour and then over here you want to take the paint off your brush and be just pushing that round what's already on there just to create the side that is more pale and don't forget we can always come on after it's dried to create a bit more shadow okay we've got purple and blue let's go for another blue but a slightly different color you don't want to have too many different colors because it will um the overall image well you'll you need less rather than more less colors rather than more otherwise it becomes like confused it will have a messy feel to it. Right, I've got quite a lot of water on there, so that's going to take a while to dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the dryer on it. I quite like it though. It's kind of been quite patchy like that. I didn't like that. Right, happy accidents. Right, I'm going to dry it and then we'll come back. <clears throat> all done so what you'll find is they will have left marks wherever it wants to leave it it's watercolor has a mind of its own so we'll come back in this time not too much water on your brush um it's good to have a piece of paper around like i have here underneath and i'm just testing out and then right at the very bottom we're going to come in with a very dark stroke okay because we're creating the shadow on the bottom we just want to come round on that back side okay and try and blend it in a little bit but don't worry too much okay i'm going to do the same with the blue got to find which blue i used there we go i think it was that one yeah nice and we will just blend it in a little bit but try to keep the pigment the high pigment the dark 
there. And then this one's actually quite dark anyway, but what we need to do here, I think, is try and darken it up a bit more. Around here, and then that will make the rest look as though the light's glowing on it because we've darkened up that end. It's just like the underneath and that back side, as though the light's coming from that direction. Okay, nearly put my brush in the tea as usual. Okay, so once you've actually got these um, baubles done. You could decorate them however you want. You could add glitter or glitter glue or um, anything you have for card making, you can add on. Um, but I'm just going to stick to watercolours. So for the tops of the baubles where they're supposed to be like a silver or a gold colour, we're going to go in with grey but with a lot of water. So it's uh, it basically looks as though it's silver and you can have a little bit of... You can come back and again do the shadow we don't really want too much on there see that's left a blob and i didn't really want that that's what watercolor does i'm afraid has a mind of its own there we go okay so we've done the tops and again they've just them just let the paint do it do what it wants do its thing because it will create that for you right now we need to come on and do the string should we do that first yeah um, i'll just pause it a minute because i've got i need to get something else off the shelf okay so um i've just grabbed a gold silver pen and a black liner and you can basically do them how you want to i'm going to do them in black for me i just think um i don't know i just think it'll look right and come around and we can kind of loop it you know the little thing that's there and we can kind of loop it over that yeah i like it black but as i say gold and silver would do just fine what i'm going to do with the silver is come in and just draw the bottom of those little top bits with the silver there we go yeah, it's like little caps aren't they little caps okay so that's the actual baubles done now i'm going to get a bigger brush because we're we're just going to sweep some color underneath the bottom so we need a big brush for that lots of water not too much paint and we're just gonna create like these little shadows underneath like that and then we're going to come in with the tip and also just blob on some little markings because we can like that yeah i mean you could splatter as well you could splatter them but i just want it to be a bit more careful than that right underneath this one we need to add some of the blue again a bigger round brush more water than pigment and we're just going to come and create that shadow again go straight into your colour and just dot some bits around let the water do its thing and then come onto the dry bit as well and just do some little splatters tiny little splatters like that okay then we want to come into the purple again remember more water than pigment Test it out on your paper first, get as much pigment off as you can. There we go, it should be nice and light. So we'll come back down, straight in with some of the higher levels of pigment and then come into the dry paper and just dot some around as well on the dry paper. Do some up here and we can just come in again and just make that bottom even darker again. I think they're okay as they are we don't really want to ruin them too much and what you can do if you have a silver pen is you can actually decorate the baubles themselves or even if you have a white pen you can do that too so we can put some lines in and make them feel as though they're patterns like that um we could have some lines coming across that way 
looking and you can dot some little sparkly bits in I mean really the it's up to you what you do with them I'm just giving you the basics and you can add whatever you want that you have at home okay so I think I might leave the front one just as it is now we've got to come in and do the holly so back to your small round brush again now I'm going to choose a nice kind of realistic green that's not um, got lots of greens they're not all particularly real colours that's better yeah I want to go for that one okay so quite a bit of water quite a bit of paint as well and come in let's do those holly leaves you can see that green is more of like a natural colour isn't it sometimes think like we can put fake greens down too much you know the really bright ones I mean that might be a bit too all to me too brown but it doesn't matter because it's just a good base and then we can come in and put some lighter greens down as well but I quite like that I quite like that it's more of a natural green uh, I'm going to just use the dryer and dry that now Okay, once you've dried that layer then you can come on with a different green that you want to kind of Christmassy green it up a bit and you can bring it in mix it in a bit if that's what you want to do right Now we're going to do the berries, so we need to dry that again. I think as we've used black a little bit in there, I think we will just come along. And just pop some lines down the middle just to show that it is holly uh, right so time for the berries and we need to probably draw a little bit of a stalk coming down in brown mm. let's just try out that brown mm. let's get more of it less water more pigment just use the point of your brush coming down and we literally just want a little bit of stalk like that okay we're going to have to dry that first and now to come in with the berries which we want to be pretty red we want to make sure they're nice i don't think that's dried properly yet so we're going to come in with a nice red shape it'll just form its own shape and here as well and we could have one just kind of peeping around the corner of that one we can have oh hardly any pigment there let's get some more there we go and maybe now we're a bit darker we can put some of that darker one in that's cute okay so a little bit of holly coming out the top we've got our we've got our baubles all done so now we need to create um, a sign so I've got one that says a very Merry Christmas you could hand write with a black liner pen but I'm going to go for using some silver ink but I haven't used it it's like one of those ink pads I haven't used it in a while so it's a bit gungy in places so I'm just going to do a quick test to see if it works 
maybe not been such a long time since I've used it try again yeah not so good so I'm going to wipe that off now and I'm going to just use some markers over the top and and do that instead I don't like the way that's coming out very much it's a problem when things get a bit old let me put you on pause okay so I think what we're going to do is hand write because uh, my stamper isn't really working very well I don't have the right stamp ink but it's fine we can do it by hand now we can either copy that by hand or we can come up with our own so i'm going to come up with my own so we're just going to do a loopy m and then that can come up into a loopy e and then like that and then like that if you do it really loopy You've got more allowance for making mistakes. Mary. Christmas. Let's do a loop there. There we go. Everybody loves a handmade card anyway, don't they? So done a nice loopy merry christmas to it looking good i like that one so i'll stop this one and i'll get ready for the next card okay let's get started on the second one so for this one we're going to do some very easy mistletoe so we want to pick a nice green out that's a good one okay so i've gone for this kind of blue green it's almost like a phalo green for those of you that know your names of paints uh kind of kind of aquary but i think it will look nice so we're just going to come down and we're going to use the shape of the brush to move that out of the way a minute like this to create our mistletoe shapes all right so i just need to make sure i've got the right amount of color so for the first one we're just going to go like that and then we'll pick it up and come to a point again and we'll just do a few of these kind of bigger ones and smaller ones so that they're coming down make sure you've still got water on because you don't want the color to be too strong you want it nice and watery so and then come up and down and up and just keep doing that make sure you've got some kind of stem in there and down and lift and as you'll see that the the paint just kind of does the work for you if you just keep doing that action push down and lift and then bring it back to the stem it will automatically just do what it needs to do okay push down lift up and then as we come to the bottom we can start to pad it out a bit more down and push up that was a very watery one wasn't it try again we do want some paint on there push down lift up i'm going to stop saying that now you just keep on doing it okay Make sure you add water as and when you need to if you feel like there's a lot of pigment on your brush and there's not much water. Don't forget once you as well have put the paint down you can start to push it around so like I'm dragging it up because I want it to come up to that point. you can see it's starting to come together now um, again just keep going with your brush if it's running out of pigment that's fine we can have some petals that are just a little bit more faded that actually looks nice and it gives it a really nice effect okay so this card as you can see is very very simple 
going to come around now and pick up some with our smallish, our smallish, smallest watercolour brush and use the point of it to kind of create a little bow at the top. I'm going to use red again as we did before with the berries. So first of all we're going to come down and make some berries. Oh, dry it first, otherwise they're going to spread into the green. Okay. And then you can come in much more easily and add some berries and it won't spread so much like those ones did. So just dot them around wherever you fancy putting some. There's no right or wrong. Just enjoy the process. Um, those ones don't look so good down there, do they, where they smudged. So I'll just come over and try and make something of them rather than them. I'll just make like a big batch down there. <laughs> so we'll put some more up here. It's fine. We can always correct things if they've gone a bit wrong. I feel like I need a few more over here. And then I think that's enough. Now we're going to come in and you just need a lot of pigment on your brush, particularly on the end. Don't put much water on. And we're going to create a square of the bow here. I'm going to come around like doing a triangle on its side. And then we'll just do that wriggly bow like that like that it's come out nice now again you can add silver you can add glitter you can add anything you want to from your stash you can actually add a ribbon bow to make it as special as you want so that is completely up to you you could frame it as well there's all sorts but i think we'll leave it there um we can write Merry Christmas again, so just use your liner pens and your neatest writing. The last one I did, I kind of tried to be all loopy and it ended up not looking so good. So this time I'm just doing my best neat writing. You may be heavily into your fonts, which is great, so you'll be able to do your own. I think the point of these cards is that they're meant to look homemade. Okay, so that's another one done. What we could do, the joy of um, cards is that we can splatter some of the watercolour around and just dot it around and it just looks nice like that. It doesn't have to be all perfect on a white background. You can come in and kind of Add some around the writing. Okay, just enjoy it. Just enjoy the process because whoever gets your card is going to love it. Um, let's get more of this and we'll put a bit more down here. Just kind of fading it into the background. Oh, that Xbox noise keeps going off. I've got to figure out how to switch that off. It's very annoying. Any of you with kids with Xbox will know what I mean. Right. Just coming round and kind of framing the background a little bit. Felt like there just wasn't enough going on there. I mean, some people like that minimalist card feel, so you might just do the mistletoe and leave it. But I'm not very good at that. I just like to keep going and messing about and stuff. I think I might come in with some more of that green and the very tip and finish my stalk. I don't think it really. And then maybe bring some more stalky bits in down here. Just so it feels as though they are actually going somewhere. There we go. And some more red oh not enough water on the brush and i think we might just do some little dots in and around the writing because it's just kind of cute 
why not i'm just making it up as i go along by the way which is what i want you to do as well come up with your own little little versions of it okay so all done so please do if you're enjoying this so far remember to subscribe if you haven't already give me a like give me a follow i'm just going to pause to get the third card ready okay time for the third card we are going to go for some christmas lights this time but it's very similar to the baubles so um we're going to pick some similar colors and yeah let's get going i actually want to try my new brushes that i've got from temu take a look at that i mean that is an awesome brush let's have a go and see what they come out like so um i'm gonna go for gray and we'll just try it mm. well my first assessment is that not good because there's loads of hairs coming off it and we don't want that so they look great but they don't perform great not good okay let's go back to my normal brushes so you need a small ground you want to be getting a bit of gray on there test it out on a bit of paper first just make sure it's the gray that you want make sure you've got enough water on your brush as well and make sure you're just using the point and we're just going to draw in the line of the lights first of all nice and easy just use that point to do small strokes if necessary because that way you'll get a more accurate line like that and there we go <clears throat> okay so now we're going to do the caps of the lights there and what we're doing is we're leaving a little white mark on them just to show if it kind of gives the impression that they're shiny hopefully you can see that <clears throat> nice and then I'm going to come round on that on the wire that's coming round with some of that dark grey and we're just going to give it some depth by just putting some dark grey markings in there we go okay so now we're going to go into the red and we want to do a nice watery red light so let's go for this one first so we want to be putting the darkest color on one side also quite quite dark from the top and then we just want water on our brush and we want to bring that round keeping that side a bit lighter okay and that will dry lighter on that side and darker on that side try and make sure you've got a nice point <clears throat> do the same on another one we'll have another red one here coming around and then we want just water we can leave a little bit of white in there kind of gives the impression of light and do i want red again no we're going to go for some green this time nice christmas bright christmas green this time because christmas lights do tend to be that fake kind of green don't they and then just a wet brush we're going to bring some of that green over but try and keep it as light as we can do it again let's have a green one down here shall we there we go Now just add in the water and spreading some of that light green round and then let it dry. As I've said before, <clears throat> the joy of watercolours is they do kind of just do their own thing anyway. But that was what makes them so special. Unlike acrylics where you'll just put paint down and it will be where you've put it. So that's the red and the green done. Let's do blue. I quite like the blue we did on the baubles earlier, so let's get some of that. 
So we want it nice and dark down one side. Just water for the next bit. Oh, I think there's a brush hair in there. Let's get that out. There we go. And just dark around that side. Okay. So I think we'll do another blue one up here because it would have gone round this way. Nice. And just drag a bit of blue all around. Once it's dried, we can come back and add some more anyway. Blue over there. Mm, no, it wants to be a different colour. Let's go for like a dark purple. So we'll have a quite dark side there. Just water to bring it round. Okay. It's just. We can go back where there is quite a lot of green here. I didn't like where it landed, so you can move things about afterwards. Okay, let's give it a dry. It's nice and dry so now I'm going to come in and correct anything that I don't like the look of so this one I didn't like too much that's already better and that one's okay I just think we need to come down to a longer point on that one okay so now I'm going to come in with the black and we're gonna just put some darker marks in on the tops here. Don't even think I put any grey on that one. Try not to do what I just did and get it mixed in with the other colours. It's easy done. Yeah. So I'm going to get the red and create more shadow again. There we go. And a bit that's one. I'm going to do the same up here, just to add some pure red in with not very much water. It just helps to create that look of light, especially this one. This one didn't have hardly any kind of dark side. Obviously I won't leave it like that, we'll just blend that through and come to the top. That's fine. This needs adjusting a bit as well. Too much of a straight line, it doesn't look right. So, trying to wiggle that out a bit, but <clears throat> it's proving tricky. May have to just be it. Okay, so now that we've got most of those done. We can come in and start to decorate the background a bit. So I'm just going to come and put some nice little dots around the lights in the colour that we've kind of painted our lights. It's just fun, just gives it another element rather than just leaving it on your own. I mean, you can, you can just leave it as it was, nice and minimalist. I'm not good at minimalist, so. To keep adding bits. There we go. It's another purple. Yeah, it looks see, it looks so much better with a bit of little bit of detail, and it didn't take hardly any more, longer than about two minutes. Just adds a bit more. 
we go. I love that. Okay. So then, in this gap in the middle, we just need to write Happy Christmas or Merry Christmas, whatever you want. I'm just going to give it a dry so I don't smudge anything. I think that's dry enough so I might do it wonky because that gap's quite wonky so let's go for it and I might just do little capitals <clears throat> I kind of like that look I think every one I've written differently but you have to be really careful because once you've written this it's that's it it's done isn't it okay now I'm gonna get a white acrylic pen and I want to see if this will work by me popping some um, lights in. Let's just try that. Hang on. It doesn't really matter. Right, so we're going to put... Is this going to work? I think it's picking up the paint rather than putting white down. Oh, no, I'd say that's... Dead as a dodo. Um, I think I've got some white gel pen somewhere. Let's try the white gel pens. So I think they're working okay. I just want to put like some little markings in them that will look like don't think maybe the watercolour is dry enough yet. Just put some little white marks in. It might be that we use acrylic paint. I'll get some of that out. Let's get some of that out. See, I told you I'll make it up as I go along, everybody. <coughs> right. So, we want white there. We want white here. So acrylic is lovely and opaque, so we'll leave nice white marks. Just creating that light as though it's hitting the side of the light bulb. Can you see? It's kind of just created that impression of light. We got there in the end. Oh! I love it. Hopefully you like it too. Again, I know we're on the same video, but I'm doing these separately. So I'm just going to remind you, please subscribe, like, comment or follow. Um, I'm an early beginning channel, so all your help will be appreciated. Right, I'm going to pause you. Right, okay, thank you for bearing with me. Uh, so we're going to go on to the fourth card, which is going to be present based. And all I've literally done is drawn on some presents um yeah that's it we're just going to bring them to life through painting so let's get to it let's get to it um just gonna wash that brush off because it's got acrylic paint on from the last one and i don't really want to have any acrylic paint that will last on my brush okay so we want some nice christmasy colors we'll keep it to red and green and yellow let's do that shall we um we're just going to put some base colours down, I think, first for our presents. So we want it to be a bit more watery than that. I think there's more pigment than water, so let's spread that about. Okay, so we'll do a yellow one at the front. I like that. We'll just go light there to start with. Yep. Um, let's go for green on that back one. And uh, we want to take the paint off our brush and just kind of pull it across. So it's kind of darker on one side and a bit lighter on the other. 
nice and just kind of bring some of that color into the top just spread it around we don't need kind of too much shadowing on these because um, they're just presents aren't they and it's more of an illustration than a real kind of view um so we've got green yellow we need some red let's get some red on the go so uh, i'm going to dry what i've done because i don't want the colors to mix Good. that's pretty much dry enough so we can go in and we'll have a nice red one i think we need a bit more pigment and less water for that one we want it to be nice and red nice bright crispy red don't worry too much about the shape as long as it's kind of a christmasy shape then that's good let's go in for the red again but we'll come up and do this one back here so be careful as you go behind. You don't want to get it on that front parcel. There we go. So I think that back one needs to be yellow. Let's just get some of that. Be careful next to that red, although I think at the edges it's dried quite well. So we're okay. Quick dry. I think with this one what we'll do is we'll keep the we'll keep it white and we'll give it should we go for some red spots yeah let's do that let's have some spotty wrapping paper let's just use the very point of your brush completely upright to get some nice spots in and what we can do is just fill the top in red as though it is mainly just red up there and then we can give it some ribbon or something in another color and just do it how we want to do it okay uh let's give it a try Okay, we're going to create a little bit of shadow underneath here on that gift just underneath where the top is and i think what we'll do um, where should we do that we'll do it again here as well just creating a bit of shadow on that side just a tiny bit maybe a bit down the bottom as well just helps to bring it to life a little bit so I'm just using the end of my brush with a, quite a bit of pigment on but and just kind of giving it a bit of shadow. Right, there we go. Now that green present, I'm feeling like I want to put a bow on that. I wonder if we can get a nice bright yellow on top of the green 
let's go for it it's looking pretty good so what you need is more pigment less water in order for it to be strong and opaque enough to cover up the present and we could actually do a bow like that just for a bit of fun again get some pigment on there there we go so that's basically done but we can come over that again with the yellow and brighten it up again as it sinks back into the um the green right i think with that yellow present let's put some bows on i'm gonna put a red bow on here so we're just doing like little oval shapes and we can just do some string like that and we can do some stripies let's go for some thin stripes on that one like across and then that way as well just use the very point of your brush okay let's get some green remember not much water and more of the green to make it opaque enough to go over anything so there we go use the point of your brush and um kind of do a little wiggle line as well we don't want it too straight otherwise it won't look real we can have it thicker at the top the bottom like that kind of make it cartoony make it fun um so let's get some of that yellow again i think maybe we'll go for the bright yellow like the lemon yellow if we go over the other yellow then it will help to brighten it up there you go straight away much brighter um so we can come in with the present down here and do some come back over there go it's better um we probably need a bow on that present so let's go for some dark green so we'll go just a little bow like that I think on this one I want to just draw a little snowflake should we go with that a little snowflake this is a problem these white pens don't like to draw over watercolour very much you have to kind of get the watercolour off but it's working quite well now I'm just putting little white spots on can you see that so we've got a little snowflake in the middle and then there's little white spots um so we can add more white here and there if we want to let's get green again and create a little bow that didn't work so well because it was wet but it's fine it's fine and that dark green on the screen is looking a lot darker than actually it is real life um <clears throat> so this one over here what should we do with this one we could draw some little let's draw some little holly leaves that'd be easy enough oh actually i quite just like the little green trees let's do that they're like little christmas trees aren't they mm -hmm. the joy of not planning happy accidents right find some brown draw in the stumps of the trees there we go that looks nice right we'll come back in with the red again and just shadow up the presents a little bit more now that they're oh dear i've smudged the green out quite a lot that's not good is it i have to come over that A shame. It was on a roll there. Hang on. Let's try and cover that up a bit. 
and what we'll do is we'll re-wet that and see if we can try and get it up with a little bit of tissue now that it's wet it might make it worse yes made it worse okay disaster what we're going to do is get some of that green very watery and we're going to rescue it by just putting some green around all of the presents like that again happy accidents it's all good just give it some just give it some kind of sense of place <laughs> with having some ground there so actually it's all good i may not have done that and it looks nice okay to make the presents look a bit more real we're going to go in with shadows as i said i need to create shadow under here and then some shadow across the edge i'm just kind of making sure that the presents stand out let's get some more of that green try and actually get a bow shape there we go let's just fill that side in as well i think i need to leave that present alone because it's just it's not happening okay um i think we're pretty much there let's get some more of that lemon i really want to lighten up here now this present keep that really really light in there thing is like once it dries it, it kind of seeps in and then disappears so um i'm gonna get the red and just maybe just put a few dots around just introduce the color a bit into the background as you'll see with all my other ones i've kind of done that as well just had a bit of fun with the paint what was the other colour? Yellow. We'll use the lemon yellow because it's much brighter. But on the green it's likely to just disappear. And that's fine. We can do dots or just wiggle it in. I think that looks nice. Just wiggle it in a bit. Lovely. So I think, I think we will just leave it there. We'll dry and then we'll come in with some pen over the top. I'm going to get my black pen again and I'm going to put a very remember you can do any kind of lettering just make it up as you go along people will just be happy to have had a lovely handmade card try and keep it straight if you can there we go and then what we can do is we can come on and gold it up a bit I don't know if you can see that that is a gold pen oh i think it might be drying out try the silver one instead there we go so we can just get some silver maybe put it around just the big letters we can do some dots around whatever you want to do okay just have fun with it people will just love that you've they've got a handmade card off you i'm going to put some decoration on here some nice silver dots nice and i'm just going to come in and Just, just put some bits where I want to put them. 
bit of silver in there. Maybe a few dots on that one as well. Why not? We can, so why not? Joe, we haven't got a bow on this one, so let's put a nice big silver one in. And have some wriggly string coming off it. I like that. Just going to put some silver lines in where that yellow is as well. Just to help it stand out a little bit. I think I'm happy with that, mostly. Um, let's get a bit of grey. Um, just to kind of wash down the side of this present here and give it a little bit of... Oh, I'm a different present kind of feel rather than it just being completely white and left. That's better. That's a lot better. Okay, so hope you enjoyed that. So that's card number four. We'll go on to card number five now. Okay, for this one, there's no drawing or anything. We're just going to go straight in and develop some kind of Christmas tree. Um, I'm going to try and find the colour that I like the best. What colour did I use last time? Was it that one? No, it definitely wasn't that one. Is it that one? That's a nice green. Let's go for that. Okay, so what we're going to do is just draw our Christmas tree in with long kind of strokes using the brush shape. Okay, coming from the front top. So we always want them to be coming from the top and coming down like this. Okay, and we want varying degrees of kind of darkness and thickness but they always want to kind of be coming up we can do the outsides try and get some nice long strokes in we'll do the outsides first and kind of work our way up just so that we've got the general shape of our tree in you know I nearly didn't do a Christmas tree card that's no good is it so I'm just going to do the one one kind of oh dear that's too much isn't it watercolours hey mind of their own so we're going to come in and just do some more strokes in the different varying grades of colour we want to come in with some darker ones here and there but let's just get the general shape of the tree in to start with so it's coming out this way i want to get lots of these coming in from the bottom up to the top we don't want them in straight lines we just need to have a feeling of direction coming from the bottom up to the top like that then we'll let it dry And now we can come in with some darker shades of that colour and just create a little bit of depth by adding in these darker shades. Basically, more paint, less water. It's very much like what we were doing with the uh, was it the mistletoe <clears throat> on that card, using the brush to get our shapes in. And we'll come out here. We really want to come out a lot further at the bottom to give that feeling of that V shape of a Christmas tree. But we want to make sure that these are all quite jagged. We don't want them in perfect position. Right, I think I'm just going to put some lines in as well because it kind of suggests branches. I'm going to do them in the green and I might come in and do them in the brown after. But I think actually 
just doing it in the same colour it's just nice and subtle whereas if I went in with the brown it wouldn't be subtle anymore it would really pop and I'm not sure the idea of it having branches is really the whole point of this it's just the overall shape so we're going to get get that dry and now we can decorate <coughs> So we can pop a little um, box at the bottom. I am going to do it in red uh, and I'm going to try and get it to go in between. So I've got hardly any water, just the paint and then you've got more control. Okay, so we're going to come around those leaves and then we're going to create the bottom of the box. Okay, so it's got some kind of stand. Now again, without much water, keep the pigment strong. We want to be creating circles. Yeah. Because these are going to be our bubbles that are just randomly hanging around. We want to try and get them evenly spaced, but make sure they're not in rows. They need to be dotted around as they would be on your Christmas tree. So let's dot them around. That's nice. Okay. What should we do next? Yellow. Let's get some nice bright yellow on there. Not sure it will show up greatly on that green, but let's give it a try. Oh no, it's fine. Just need a bit more water on my brush. It's a bit too dry. It's showing up. It's fine. Okay. So we've got some little yellow ones on here. Okay. Then we need some kind of feeling of tinsel, don't we? Should we do blue? Don't know if blue will royal ruin the colour scheme a little bit. Mm. Let's still do red. I think we'll keep it to red, yellow and green. So what I'm going to do is just kind of wriggle in a feeling of tinsel. And it's a wriggly line because tinsel isn't perfect, is it? It's all over the place. But we are going in that kind of zigzaggy pattern. We'll leave in little gaps to show that it's going underneath the leaves so leave little gaps here and there we just want to know the general direction of here's tinsel it's going this way and we're pretty much nearly done all we need to do is our star don't we let's get a star up here okay it's pretty excuse my hand rubbing paint onto the card i've got a really bad habit of doing that and it just ruins it let's see if i can get it off there we go if you just ever get paint on wet it and then try and get it off with a cloth so that usually does the trick so what i want to do here is kind of give a little bit of a landing space for the uh, bottom just kind of very roughly just ground the tree so it's not floating in space which is okay if you want a nice minimalist card then please do that but I just wanted to give it a bit of grounding. Okay. And what we can do is a few little dots around um, on the tree in dark green. Um, I just think just to add something. Just adds a little something. I don't know what, but I just like it. Just... Just because it's like it's other things on the tree and there's other decorations there because the trees our trees should be full shouldn't they should have lots of things on them okay i'll leave it there before i ruin it and now we can write merry christmas straight across the top we can have it in the corner that's what i'm going to do so just going to do it in kind of any silly writing that I feel like making it up as I go <laughs> I think I have to do um, 
capitals and a bit Merry Christmas and then we'll just do a little star why not that's that one done as well so all five done hope you enjoyed them they're good fun aren't they and people will love just getting your little handmade cards they'll really appreciate it well what we could do is put some little uh, where the star is we could have some little dots coming out to show that it's sparkling and we can put it around the merry christmas as well oh that's cute okay yes so please do subscribe like comment share it's all much appreciated have a great day everyone and um yep see you in the next video